This is the award-winning Ernest Angley Hour, proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ to all nations. I believe in miracles because I believe in God. As you watch today's program, reach out in faith and allow the Lord to minister to your personal needs. You can have a miracle. And here is God's man for this hour, Reverend Ernest Angley. Greetings in the name of the Lord and welcome to the Ernest Angley Hour. I'm the Reverend Chris Mockamer. I'm an associate pastor at Ernest Angley's Grace Cathedral. I'll be your guest host for the program today. Friend, we have much in store for you. Good music and singing. A wonderful message by Reverend Angley continued from last week and You'll watch the power of God in action during the healing line. But first, we have for you Angels Grace Cathedral Choir with a beautiful number. Here we are. Glory, glory to the Lamb. 
taking you into Ernest Angley's Grace Cathedral, and it's time for the sermon by the Reverend Ernest Angley, continued from last time. An unusual title, but it will bless you. Are you giving God your leftovers? Listen. Malachi's day, they didn't give God their best because they didn't. God couldn't bless them. Barrenness came upon them. Then they put the blame on God, saying it was vain to serve the Lord. Malachi, third chapter, verse 14. You have said it is vain to serve God. What profit is that we have kept his ordinance, that we have walked mournfully before the Lord of hosts? Nothing has changed. People give God their leftovers and say they've kept his ordinances. But they haven't. The tenth which is holy to the Lord, they've used it for themselves first. They bring barrenness upon themselves. And then they blame God. Giving God only what is left over. You can't give God your leftovers and expect showers of blessings in return. It isn't going to happen. God is not going to bless a robber. You won't make that one flight out. No, robbers won't be going up. God puts it plain. He's going to bless the ones 
who do not rob him. Luke, the sixth chapter, verse 38. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, shall men give to your bosom. For with the same measure that you meet with all, it shall be measured to you again. And so the Lord measures you back accordingly. He keeps up with us. I'm glad he does. And I, I started tithing right after I got found the Lord. On a Sunday night and the next Sunday morning I was there. They had, uh, they'd have the tithe march. And I was in that march and I was real proud. Not a big tithe, but I was still in my teens. But it was the 10th. It really was. It's never vain to serve the Lord when you serve him with your best, when you love him with all your heart, soul, and mind. Isaiah, the prophet wrote in chapter 59, verses 1 and 2, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear, but your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. No, he turns away. He won't even look upon you. That's something. But he's looking, most of you here in this great congregation, this very night, God's honoring all that you're doing. It's wonderful. You sacrifice in a great way and give to the Lord. You sacrifice for missions to get this gospel to the whole world. The whole world. God does not enjoy people's leftovers because leftovers come up, come from a begrudging heart. God wants what comes from first love. He enjoy what comes right off the top from a cheerful and willing heart. Second Corinthians chapter nine, verses six and seven. But this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly. He that soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Every man according to he purposed in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly, or of a necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. A cheerful giver. Exodus chapter 25, verses 1 and 2, And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, that they bring me an offering of every man that giveth it willingly with his heart you shall take my offering and those that brought it and were not willing they felt like they had to do it he was not to accept it that's the way God feels today he hasn't changed at all if you're going to give it grudgingly forget it but take the penalty. You'll need the help of God and you won't have his face for that help. Colossians chapter 3, verses 23, 24. And whatsoever you do, do heartily as to the Lord and not unto man, knowing that of the Lord you shall receive the reward of the inheritance for you serve the Lord Christ. You receive the reward of inheritance. You inherit from the Lord. And God has picked different ones that he'll be, now be bringing large money to. And they voted a long time ago that if God chose them, 
Well, they would be, they would certainly give the Lord the big part and they would take the smaller part, which would be thousands of dollars. He would look out for them. It's not enough just to say, you aren't giving God your leftovers. What are your actions saying? What is your heart proving? Matthew chapter 15, verse 8. The people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth, honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. And if you resent giving to God, being called on, that God wants you to give to him, then suffer the consequence. I was told in Bible college, you don't have to tithe because you're a minister, going to minister. But I tithed everything. I went to school on faith. I worked every hour I get for 25 cents an hour. God got his tenth out of it. I gladly gave it. I gladly gave it. And the Lord really blessed me. And the leader of the state of North Carolina, young people's leader, won the prize, $25, and sent that in to be for Ernest Angley. God did that. And people would send in a woman that wasn't saved, she thought a lot of me and my family, and she paid her tithes month after month. She sent them in and helped. Now she's, she later she got saved, and she's in heaven today. Isn't that wonderful? That is so great. That really is. And I owed some. An angel was a teacher there in the college. And she was also taking some subject. And she was to have taught piano, but they didn't have so many students as they thought. And that was a God blessing because she didn't need to teach. But I'm glad that I did what I did. And I lacked some having it. And they was glad to let me finish, graduate. They knew they get it. Some of those students wouldn't pay the money. They figured, well, it's the church's business. I'm not going to pay. Take it off for free. That wasn't right. And Angel and I decided we wouldn't get married until I had paid that debt. And I went out and God really blessed me in one six weeks revival in Ohio. I got enough to pay it all off and have money left. That was God. God did it. God did it. And the man, the president of the Bible college, I was, I went to Florida to preach a funeral. And he was there. He was a man of many words. And he whispered to me as he passed the corpse, the more I see of you, the better I like you. I really preached a sermon anointed by God. One of the other te male teachers told me after that he had retired and so had Zeno C. Thorpe, he said, 
Brother Thorpe really loves you, and he really watches your, your own television. And so they came. He had been the overseer. He had been over the college. They came and sang in my choir. I had a big crusade there in Tampa, Florida. And another man that had been over all the churches. And that was a place of great honor. There he was in the choir singing for the Lord. And it was great to have them. They loved miracles. They loved the way I preached. I preached the old time way, the truth, but nothing but the truth. All right. And then in Proverbs third chapter, verses five through 10, trust in the Lord with all thine heart, lean not unto your, thine own understanding in all thy ways. Now notice it says all. Put him first and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It shall be health to thy navel and marrow to thy bones. Honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruits of all thine increase. So shall thy barns be filled with plenty and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. Not fermenting, but the juice of the vine. Are you giving God your leftovers? Are you giving God your leftovers? Most of you are not doing it, but there's some here tonight, saith the Lord. He knows you. This message is for you. If you want to be blessed, you better not give him the leftovers. No, but you have a choice. You can go on giving him the leftovers. Well, I've got to look out for my family. Well, you do a better job looking out for them if you had the face of God. Right? We believe. We believe. We do believe. It's wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. And praise in the Lord. And this has been such a message of simplicity. Are you giving God your leftovers? Most of you can say no, no, a thousand times no. Right? You that hear this message on radio, all over the world, and on television, check your heart. Get right with God if you're serving him leftovers. And you few, the few that cheer tonight in this great crowd, ask God to forgive you of your sins and get right. Say, oh God, I'm so sorry that I have sinned against you, but I've come home and I'm going to serve you, Lord, the rest of my life. And I believe your divine blood that you spilled on Calvary will wash away all of my sins, all of my sins. Say, come in, Jesus. Come on in. And if you invited him, you really meant that, what I had you to say, then you can say, hallelujah, I'm saved. So say it now. Hallelujah, I'm saved. And now go on to serve the Lord. Be sanctified. That means to be made holy. 
and then go on to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And if the Holy Ghost hasn't spoken through you in another tongue, you don't have the Holy Ghost. You are deceived. It's awful to be deceived. You're feeding the Lord leftovers, saying you have the Holy Ghost, but I don't speak in tongue. And Acts tells us how the Holy Ghost acted on that great day when he descended upon about 120. They were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave the utterance. The utterance, the Spirit gave it. And what you need to do, you've gotten saved, you've been made holy as God is holy, and now you can just get in your room and praise God with the word glory. Glory, glory, glory. Ever glory counts. Ever glory. And one glory will be pushing another glory, seeming you get to that place that you're reaching the throne of God and the Holy Ghost will come. Don't doubt him. He'll come. And never try to speak in tongues at will. That self, God says that deceit, self, and then in, the devil takes over and delights in speaking through people that's deceived. And that's terrible indeed. And now write and let us hear from you. We'll be taking you to the Lord in prayer. Get everything fixed up with God. You that didn't mean your prayer today, you better get right with God. We want to see you in the rapture, that one flight out. Praise be to God. Friend, I hope you were blessed by the sermon today. Well, this coming weekend at Ernest Angeles Grace Cathedral, we will be having a wonderful Easter celebration all weekend long, and we would like to invite you to be a part of it. It all starts with the Good Friday Holy Communion and Miracle Service. This Friday at 7 p.m. at Ernest Angeles Grace Cathedral in Cuyahoga Falls. It's a combination of two services in one. The power of God works in such a wonderful way, bringing miracles, healings, and deliverance to people. Because when people discern the Lord's body in taking Holy Communion, God is able to do a great and mighty work. Then, Easter Sunday, the celebration continues. It starts with the sunrise service at 7 a.m. One hour of good gospel music and singing in celebration of the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That will be followed by a morning worship service at 10 a.m. Reverend Angeli will have a special message in the main auditorium. We will also have Sunday school for the boys and girls in our junior church department. Then, to finish off the day, it's a big Easter sing starting at 7 p.m. There'll be no preaching in this service, all good music and singing as we continue the celebration of our Lord's resurrection. And friend, admission is free. So make plans to be with us. Be sure, invite family and friends. We look forward to seeing you. And don't forget, it's not too late. You can still stand by the great miracle crusade Reverend Angeli is finishing up in Soweto, South Africa. It's been a mighty outpouring of the Spirit. God is moving in great and mighty ways for people in the crusades and out on the streets and everywhere our people go to minister. Oh, friend, you may not be able to go to the mission fields and win souls directly, but when you stand by these crusade services, it's the same as if you were there in person winning souls for the Lord. These crusades cost hundreds of thousands of dollars, but it's worth it for the mighty harvest of souls that is brought in for the Lord. 
do give whatever the Lord lays upon your heart. But remember, if you give $100 or more, we will send you a DVD of all the highlights of the Crusade services. Our mailing address is Ernest Angley Ministries, P.O. Box 1790, Akron, Ohio, 44309. In Canada, Ernest Angley Ministries, Box 970, Station U, Toronto, Ontario, M8Z5P9. And of course, you can always make donations through our website, ernestangley.org. O R G. And just a reminder about these crusade services. You can listen to the broadcast of these services on Ernest Angley World Radio. And you'll also be able to listen to each crusade service on demand at ernestangley.org. So be sure, go to our website and get more details about it. Now, we have more good music and singing coming up, followed by The Healing Line. But first, it's the Cathedral Trio with a great number, Go and Tell It. Go and, go and tell it, go and, go and tell it, go and, go and tell it, Jesus saves and Jesus heals.
in another tongue. In another tongue, but what a Holy Ghost time. What a time there's going to be, there's going to be when I get to heaven. And my Father's face I see. What a Holy Ghost time. What a time that's going to be, that's going to be. I'll be shouting praises to the King of Kings. Touring my mansion, Jesus made for me. Love and I miss, counted by my side. What a Holy Ghost time. In valleys deep, I never know. The Holy Spirit lifts me up to the throne, and by faith I see all the way to glory. And He lets me know that the victory's mine. What a Holy Ghost time! But what a Holy Ghost time! What a time there's going to be, there's going to be when I get to heaven and my Father's face. I see what a Holy Ghost time, what a time that's going to be, that's going to be. I'll be shouting praise to the King of Kings, touring my mansion, Jesus made for me. Love and I miss, counted by my side, what a Holy Ghost time. What a holy time and love divine. The Holy Ghost, He's mine, mine, mine. Ooh, I'm on my way to God's perfect hour. He's charging my body with mighty power. He's been my teacher and my God, He's been ever by my side. Oh, what a Holy Ghost time! He is the greatest part of my day. Hallelujah! I'm sitting in heavenly places, going to Jesus' way. Praise God forever! What a Holy Ghost time! What a Holy Ghost time! Singing with the angels around God's throne What a Holy Ghost time, what a time There's going to be, there's going to be When I get to heaven And my Father's face I see What a Holy Ghost time, what a time That's going to be, that's going to be I'll be shouting praise to the King and Kings Touring my mansion, Jesus made for me The love of God is gathered by my side
is a powerful internet radio that streams God's love and greatness 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You don't need a traditional radio, just your laptop, tablet, or smartphone. And you can download our free apps from our website at earnestangeley.org. When troubles push in on you, then tune into sermons. I accuse Christianity for having ministers that will deny what God has promised us. Songs. I'm going to join the angels band. I'll sing with the angels in glory band. And personal testimonies that build faith and joy. They were drugs of mental addiction, physical addiction. Instantly, Reverend Angley, I was delivered from those devils that bound my life. Praise the Lord. That's good. Also, Go to ErnestAngeli.org and visit the Worship Center and see life-changing miracles. Come on! <laughs> Receive personal prayer from Reverend Angeli. There's the healing hands like no other hands. And sign up as an online ministry partner and receive free downloads. Dip your cup in God's river of love and never be the same. Friend, if you haven't already, visit our worship center soon. There are many things there that will bless your soul. Now, 
taking you back into Ernest Angeles Grace Cathedral, and it's time for the Healing Line. Friend, watch the power of God work for others and know that it will work for you. I sanctify the Lord God. I declare all the miracles and healings are His. I give Him all the glory. I never take any of the glory. I am His witness only. He is witness. And I stand by with divine faith, with divine love, to help. And the angel stands by me. And God performs miracles. He does the unthinkable. And it's unbelievable to some people. But miracles are real to me. They are real. And where are you people from? Hubbard. We pastor a church. You pastor a church? In Hubbard. And, Is it Pentecostal? Uh, you better believe it. <laughs> so you don't speak in tongues at will? No. Good. When the Holy Ghost gives utterance. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What's wrong? I suffer from migraines. You what? Uh, I get some migraine headaches. Loose, sir. Yay, yay, yay. That's the power of God. Let it take over. Let it loose her completely. Yay, yay. Oh, glory. Thank God. Thank you. Yay. In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. And pastor, take this for the people. Amen. Amen, amen. Glory. Praise the Lord. Reverend, they've looked on my throat and they can't find nothing, but I'm, my voice is going deeper and deeper. And I also have um, iron, lack of iron, and my platelets are really low. So if I cut myself, I could bleed to death. Well, just draw nigh to God and he'll draw nigh to you. Draw nigh to God. Draw nigh to God. That's what the Lord's calling for. Draw nigh to him. Draw nigh to God. Amen. Glory, 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 glory. Hi, Reverend. Uh, in about three weeks ago, I was carrying something I believe I carried the wrong way, and suddenly my back started hurting, my lower back from here. Now at home, I have a scrutinizing pain, in my yeah. lower back. Yeah, you have a vertebrae out of place and some muscles out of place. Loose, sir. Amen. Glory. I have a testimony. Um, 24 years ago, I came to this ministry, and before I did, I was so bound by alcohol. <clears throat> and when I realized I had a drinking problem, I would just get on my knees at night, and I'd be talking to the Lord, saying, Lord, please don't let me lose my mind, but I just can't quit drinking. And <clears throat> I was honest hearted and I told my brother who came here at the time, I said, I can't quit drinking, I'm really bound. I said, I, I just can't, I'd like to. He goes, well, come to church with me. Reverend Angeli has the gifts of, you know, he can deliver you. So he brought me here and on the way here, I had to have a beer because that's just the way it was. I had to drink all the time. And so you cast 12 devils out of me, you know, that was uh, 24 years ago, and I've been sober ever since. And you said to me, if you ever touch any more alcohol, you will be so sick, you'll feel like you're gonna die. And I knew that was right, because I could, I could feel the power of God, you know, come into me and, del and I was delivered. And I knew that that was right. And I, so I, I would have the cravings, because I did go back to smoking, but I got delivered from that too. But I wouldn't touch it, because I was too afraid. I knew that. So you're free. I'm free. <laughs> well, glory, Lord. <laughs> Bless him. That's a good testimony. I am easily persuaded and wish to have more self-control. You're saved? Yes. Have the Holy Ghost? No. No. 
Will you come when I give the call in a little bit? Yes. And seek the Lord, because you need the Holy Ghost. Lord, move for her. Let her feel this power. I want her to receive the Holy Ghost this very night. Amen. Amen. I call down the power upon you. Receive ye the Holy Ghost. 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 Amen. Are you saved? Yes, sir. You have the Holy Ghost? No, not yet. Don't you want the Holy Ghost? Yes, I do. You can't get out of here on Rapture Day if you don't have the real Holy Ghost. I know. Yea, I anoint you to receive the Holy Ghost this very night, and you answer the altar call I'm about to give. Amen. Amen and amen. Friend, you've just witnessed the power of God working for others. And what God has done for them, he can and he will do for you. Jesus said, only believe. All things are possible to him that believeth. It's just that simple. And if you're one watching today, you're in need of a miracle or a healing. Maybe there's a bondage in your life that you just can't seem to be free of. There's power in the blood of Jesus to set you free. It heals all manner of sickness and disease, and it breaks every bondage. Let the power of the blood do for you what no other power can do. Put your hand against mine on the screen. This is a form of laying on of hands, all according to Mark's Gospel, the 16th chapter. Jesus said a believer would lay hands on the sick and they would recover. I'm the Lord's believer. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I bring the people to you now. God, those who are sick in body, those with a great bondage in their life. Lord, move for them. Break that bondage. Lay a healing hand upon each one. In the holy blood name of Jesus, heal, heal, heal. Let your blood power flow to each one, Lord, and make them well. Deliver them, set them free, and raise them up as a testimony for your honor and glory. In the name of Jesus, I pray, and amen. Friend, watch every sign of improvement, and you give God the honor, the praise, and the glory. And one great way to do that is if you've been blessed by this Jesus ministry, if you've received a miracle or a healing, we'd like to hear from you. You can send your testimony by email to testimonies at ernestangely.org. And while you're on our website, I encourage you to read the latest edition of the Power of the Holy Ghost magazine. This is a wonderful sermon by the Reverend Ernest Angley, and the title is Reasoning the Wrong Way. Many people do, and that's why they live in a state of confusion. Also in this edition, you'll find wonderful testimonies of how God is moving and blessing people here and overseas. God is doing a great and mighty work. Read all about it for free at ernestangely.org. And partners, do read the letter Reverend Angley sent to you for the month of March. Many thoughts in that letter for you to consider. Reverend looks to the Lord to get those thoughts for you, and he puts them down in that letter to be a blessing unto you. So, read that letter and let it bless you in a great and mighty way. And remember, each month that you sponsor this worldwide outreach ministry, you get a new book of the month. The March Giant Little Book is Depending on God's Strength. When you send in your support for the month of March, be sure to request gift offer P341. Well, I hope today's program has been a great blessing to you. And remember, friend, if you have the opportunity, join us for Easter weekend at Ernest Angley's Grace Cathedral. I know you will be greatly blessed of the Lord. We look forward to seeing you. And always remember, nobody's ever cared for you like Jesus cares for you. Nobody has ever loved you like he loves you. You are special to me and the good Lord. God bless you today. Are you enjoying the anointed music, singing, and preaching on this program? I want to let you know it is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week on Ernest Angley World Radio. 
Go to our website to listen or download one of our apps. It doesn't matter where you are. As long as you have an internet connection, you can listen. Ernest Angley World Radio, a voice to the world. This program is paid for by the Ernest Angley Outreach Partners.